Hi, today's video is going to be a 15, 20, 30 minute max, just a morning stretch or an afternoon stretch, anytime you want a gentle stretch, I guess we'll call it gentle stretch. So get your mat, I guess you can have your blocks and everything handy, I don't think we'll really be using them too much. Can you see my mat here? I think, I think we're okay. So sit up nice and tall, please. Close your eyes, find your comfortable seat, and stay and breathe. Start to breathe in and out through the nose. Hands can be anywhere. You can have your hands on your knees, palm side down. You can have your the backs of your hands on your knees, palms facing up. You can even have both hands sort of in your lap or kind of on your ankles. One hand down, the other on top of it, both palms facing the ceiling. Whatever you choose to do, find a comfortable seat. We're going to do about a one minute maybe of centering before we start this gentle practice, this gentle stretch. This will be a quickie. So you can do this anytime if you don't have an hour to take to sit and do a video. You know, maybe you do this quick 15, 20 minute video. I hope, it is my hope that you're using all of the resources that I'm providing to you and all the resources that there are online. There's plenty of free yoga online. So sit up tall, feel the breath in and out through the nose. On your inhale, think of something positive like your health and your family. And on the exhale, let go of one worry whatever that is for you. Again, think of something positive, like your warm house or apartment. And then let go of one other worry. And continue on in that fashion. It's okay if you repeat things. In yoga, when we do continued repetition in our minds during meditation, we call that a mantra. So maybe you want to do a mantra right now. So your mantra can be something like on your inhale, I am love and kindness and light. And on your exhale, I will spread that to the world. I am love and kindness and light. And I will spread that to the world. Again, I am love and kindness and light. I will spread that to the world. So go on like that. Another couple of breaths here. I'm gonna stop talking for a couple of seconds. Slowly open up your eyes, bring your hands back to your knees. If they were not there, sit up nice and tall. Take a big inhale, open the heart up towards the ceiling, drop the head back. On your next exhale, drop the chin to the chest, round the spine, shoulders come forward, seated cat cows. Slow here, inhale. And exhale. I'm gonna turn to the sides so you can see my spine. Inhale. Nice long spine. Gaze up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale. Tuck the chin round the spine. Leaning back. See how I'm rounding and leaning? Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Come to a nice, quiet center. Just lean forward. So you see how I'm leaning? My heart comes forward. I'm not rounded, right? Just lean forward until your sit bones pop up. You can bring your hands in front of you. And then fold over, melt into this posture. Okay. 
you look at the screen, you'll see my back is long, not rounded. And then fold, drop the head, stay here, draw your attention to the areas that you feel the stretch in, send some love there, send some healing breath. And then slowly walk the hands to the right, chest is down towards the thigh, okay, so you're not open, chest is down towards the thigh arms reach out notice where you're feeling it now try to keep that left sit bone tacked down to the mat staying and breathing into these very gentle stretches gentle but powerful all yoga is healing come back to center and stay and one of the things that I love most about yoga is that no matter what is going on with your body, whether you're working with an injury, whether you're feeling a little tired, whether you're feeling extra energized, you can get something out of the practice. Walk to the left. You can take it up a notch if you want to, or you can take it down. So there's, there really is something for everybody in yoga, and you just have to find the teacher that you connect with you have to find the type of practice that you connect with because there are different variations in the styles of yoga. They all emanate from the same root. So if you are not enjoying one yoga class, try another, try another, try another. And then come back to the center. This is all about the low back, drop the head. and then slowly walk the hands back up. All right. Already feeling a little more awake or a little kind of longer in the side body here. Inhale the arms up, exhale the right hand down and lean to the right. So I don't know if you can see my bottom hand, my arm is bent, which is fine, or you can keep it straight, whichever feels good, but that top arm is nice and straight and lean over, keep the left sit bones connected to the mat, pull the belly in. Use the breath here. The breath prana is really important in yoga. It can get you through to the next pose. It can distract you from a posture or asana that you're not loving if you just focus on the breath. It can get you deeper into a pose It sustains you. So inhale back up. Feel so good. Reach up and then exhale to the opposite side. Going slow. All right, slow, slow, slow. We're not doing any sort of power moves right now. We're just slowly stretching out the body. So this is something you can do quickly. You know, 20 minutes. I'll try to cap it at 20 minutes. What am I at already? Five almost six, it's good. I feel this all in this hip, really mostly over the hip. I don't know where you feel it, a little bit in the shoulder too, it's working. And then sit up, fold forward again, little counter stretch here. Make a pillow with your hands, drop the forehead down. If your forehead doesn't reach, you can take a block, put the forehead down on the block. Any height, the block can be high, or it could be the lowest, or it could be on your hands. And just drop the head down. And then we're back up. And drop that head down. And then sit on up, move the block over if you used it. Inhale the arms up. Take a twist first to the right, please sit up nice and tall. Breathing into this, twisting comes from the ribs. Visualize the ribs rotating around, rotating around. And come through center, 
Other side, please. Twist. Bring that left hand behind you, close to the seat so you're sitting up tall. Right? I'm not leaning back into it. I want to be sitting up nice and tall. And then inhale up. Exhale, just the right arm down. Take that lean again to the side. Go right into the other side. And then back up. We're going to twist again. Inhale and exhale. Twist to the right. Up to center. Right over to the left. And up to center. And exhale down. Great. Come onto hands and knees. If this bothers your knees in any way, hopefully you brought a blanket or a towel with you. This is my yoga towel that my mother-in-law got me. So, you know, you want to just pad the knees. Only if it's bothering you. You don't have to. I happen to have one bum knee. Coming on to hands and knees. Now we're going to take some traditional cat cast. So again, check out my alignment here. My wrists are under my shoulders, right? They're not in front or behind. Behind would just be feel really awkward. And my knees are underneath my hips. In other words, you know, not like that, right? Or even like that, I guess. Okay, nice alignment here. And you'll get the benefit of the posture. We're going to do some cat cows. You're going to inhale, curl the toes. Dip the belly, gaze forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, round the spine up towards the ceiling. Tops of the feet can come into the mat. Press it away. Inhale, gazing forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, gaze forward. One more. Last one. Exhale, round the spine. Back to neutral. Great. Okay, right leg comes back. Curl those toes in. Reach that heel back. That right hip wants to come up, right? Drop it down. Gaze forward. All we're going to do is we're going to lift that right leg from the back. Drop it over to the left. Gaze over the left shoulder at that heel. Feel that on the side body. Feels really good. And then come back to center and then drop that foot down. Go right into the other side. So left foot comes back, reach that heel back. So you feel the calf stretch here, gaze forward. Now lift that leg, move it over to the right, drop it down and gaze over that right shoulder. And then release that, come back to center. All right, coming into child's pose now. So the tops of the feet are on the mat, the big toes are touching. Spread your knees as wide as the mat, sink your seat back onto your heels, and walk your hands forward with a nice flat spine. Drop the head down. Are we feeling this in our shoulders? Maybe the lower back. If this bothers your knees in any way, what I have been doing since I am having a knee issue is I've been curling my toes in and then I've been sitting back and kind of keeping my hips lifted a little bit. If that still does not relieve it, you know, you can always just stay like this and just come down like this. This is actually called puppy pose. So I'm going to stay like this just as I don't want to put any extra pressure on my knee. But the rest of you guys be in a nice child's pose. From child's pose, I'll show you what we're going to do. We're just going to walk the hands to the right, fold over. Come back to center and just go right to the other side. Fold over. And then come back to center and back to tabletop. All right, so we're going to thread the needle now. 
you're going to take your right arm you're going to lift it up so right arm lifts up take a beautiful twist here and then when you exhale you're going to bring that arm underneath your body come down onto the shoulder and the cheek i'll use this hand so you can see me and then you can either take the opposite arm keep it forward or i like to press into the mat sometimes and push my chest a little bit it depends how much and what you want to get out of this pose I'm keeping my back toes, my toes curled in because it's easier on my knees. Hips are lifted. Breathing into wherever you're feeling this. And then, I'm sorry guys, my knee is hurting me. So come on out of it. And let's just go right into the other side. Inhale, lift up, exhale, bring that arm underneath, come down. I just did that side, I gotta go to the other side. And feel what you feel. This is a very gentle yoga practice we're doing right now. Quickie, so that you can get it in. I hope that you're taking care of yourself. Self-care is really important during this time. And come on out of it. And then make your way onto your back, please. Self-care is really important. You know, we are taking care of our families, our kids are home, maybe we're working a full-time job as well, trying to work our job, trying to teach our kids. You know, it's not easy, it's not easy. So please take the pressure off of yourself and do something for yourself every day. All right, so we're going to drop the knees to the side. I'll show you what we're gonna do here, just like this, but you're lying on your back. This is called Supta Bhadakonasana. Supta, meaning reclining. Bhadakonasana is the leg position. If this feels like it's pulling in the groin, put some blocks I'll show you. Put some blocks underneath to kind of support you. Okay? We're going to inhale the arms up overhead. And then just stay here, getting a nice shoulder stretch, opening up the groin. A couple of breaths here. In fact, let's inhale, reach the fingertips back. Exhale, just drop the arms. A little moving meditation here. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands to the outsides of the legs. Bring the legs together. Hug the knees in. Lift the chin. Lift the forehead. Try to make yourself into a little ball here. And drop the head drop the knees all right so we're going to drop both knees over to the right so if you can see my knees here they're apart that actually bothers my knee you can stay like this if this feels good bring the left arm out and feel the stretch right here i prefer to bring my knees kind of close to my body so i always like to hug them in i'm just giving you a couple options and then drop them down so my knees are closer together this is what I prefer as my twist. Another option would be ankle on the knee and then again, drop it over. That's also a really good one. That happens to bother my left knee right now. So this is what I've been doing. But any twist works right now. This is our last pose. Breathe into those spaces, say a moment of gratitude for yourself. You're doing it, you're doing the best you can. We're all doing the best we can. That's all we can ask. You know, don't hoard stuff. If you go to the supermarket and you need cereal for your kids and there's only two boxes of the cereal you like left, just take one. Let someone else have the other. You don't need to hoard. There will be enough for all. We need to live from a place of abundance, not fear. This is what I've been telling my kids, you know, since they were toddlers. 
And it's true. It's really true. So come back up, squeeze it in and drop it down. I mean, we've been in this, you know, shelter in place now for at least a week. Some people have been longer staying at home or maybe they've been self quarantining because of contact with someone with coronavirus. Likely we've all gone to the store at some point. We know they're staying open. They're essential businesses. So you don't need to grab 15 packs of toilet paper anymore, really, or ever. You know, take what you need. Save some for someone else. And maybe check on elderly neighbors or single parent neighbors, especially those with small children who can't leave the house. They don't want to take their kids to the store. You know, whatever we can do to be good neighbors, good citizens, global citizens. I don't mean, I don't want you to think I'm preaching here. It's just a little reminder. You know, live from abundance. And hug it in. The good news is, is that people that practice yoga generally think like this anyway. It just seems to be the type of person that yoga attracts. Or maybe once you've been practicing yoga for a while, your mind shifts, your mindset shifts. I believe that also happens. So, you know, as I'm doing some sort of circles with my knees and then go in the other direction. And then we're going to do a very quick Shavasana. Drop the feet nice and long. Arms by your side. Try not to be touching anything, any props or anything. We'll do a little meditative Shavasana. Take a big breath in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. Again. One more. Bring the right hand to your heart space, left hand to your lower belly. Breathe in and out. Physically feel how the body responds to your breath. Count to 10. 10 breaths. Notice what thoughts come into your mind. That's totally fine. Allow them their purpose and then send them on their way. Let's just take five more inhales and exhales, please. Two more. Open the eyes, inhale the arms up overhead, point the toes, big body stretch, big spinal stretch here. Bring the knees in, hug them in, roll to one side, press yourself up. Nice seated position where we started. I hope you're feeling a little more relaxed, a little more open, a little looser. We're just gonna close out here, bring the hands to heart center, bow the chin in a moment of gratitude. Really think about three things that make you happy. And in times of stress and anxiety, of which there seems to be a lot right now, try to come back to those three things, your puppies, your children, your family, your friends. And breathing really does help. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, you can always contact me or you could leave a note. If I don't know you, you could always leave a comment. But if I do know you, just send me a text. Namaste. Thank you all. Stay well. Hopefully we'll be back in the studio very soon.